Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Riley, and in today's video, we are back. And as you can see from the screen, it's a little bit different than the last time because we have received an offer. Yes, I did apply, and I did get the job at Lazio. So I know I wasn't uh, particularly keen on moving to, well, I wasn't unkeen, unkeen? I've always thought it'd be cool to move, go to Italy, but I did not expect it to happen at this point. So as you can see, we got an offer, a two year contract for 24,000 pounds per week. Now, if we go to my current contract, contract details, I'm only making 6,000 pounds per week. So despite us going from the EPL to Syria, it is definitely a raise. 20,000 pounds to be exact. Transfer budget is lower, but the wage budget is higher than what we currently have. And because it is June, I'm assuming they've already done some business. Our wage budget's actually, eh, it's still it's still higher over there. So I think we are going to take it. Uh, let's see if we can squeeze a little bit more money out of them. Ooh, I can. What the heck? 28,000. All right. Let's do this. We are now officially in charge of Lazio. I just did all this business too for them. Well, this business is not actually, <laughs> this business is not very like good per se. It's not what I'm showing off. In a move which has turned to spark plenty of heated debate, Rai Canuck has left Hall City to join Lazio. Canuck arrives with a record of 130 wins, 45 draws, and 80 defeats in his career. He's also won a league title. Canuck will face pressure to bring immediate success to Olympico. Having stepped up from his previous standing to take sole charge, and will need to hit the ground running if he is to win over those who believe his appointment is a questionable decision. I was I was not the favorite, but I got in the end. Uh, let's see. Canuck, a Skybet manager, Skybet championship manager of the year winner in 2026, brings a blend of experience and proven credentials with him to his new job. He's earned a reputation for signing players under the age of 23 and appears to be a great fit for the club's current vision at Olympico. Prefers to use a 4-2-3-1 DM AM wide. Okay, whatever. Why did I? <laughs> it was the subject of considerable criticism at, at Hall City in January following a humiliating FA Cup exit at the hands of Portsmouth. Like, why did they throw that in? And I also like I get it. It was it was bad, but it is a step up in the like the club is a step up for us because the reputation is four stars. So, and the status for finances is secure. That's that's actually good. So we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna obviously look at the squad, see who we have, and see what we can do. So I will go back to all of that in a second here. Uh. Club vision, let's see. So grow the club's reputation, work within wage budget, sign players to sell for a profit, develop the best youth system in the country, blah, blah, blah. Qualify for the Europa Conference League. So what does that entail? They want me to get seventh. And they finished in, last season was eighth. Okay, that seems reasonable to me, does it not? All right. So the, oh, the non-EU rule is a pain in the butt in Italy. I remember that. So no English players. <laughs> okay, so based on the league rules, we're only allowed to register the first two non-EU players we signed this season. Any further signings will not be allowed to take part in official matches until the following campaign at the earliest. One of the new non-EU players signed will only be eligible for the non-EU spot if he has played at least five matches for his national team in his career or has been called up at least twice during the last season. Oh my goodness. We've already filled two new non eu players this season, meaning we cannot occupy any more until next season. The players who fill the spots are... Serbia's not in the EU. Dang it. Dang it. That's, that's super annoying. That's super, super annoying. And Abdul Mumin. Really, that's who you brought in? Okay. Okay. It's also important to note that we have filled the non you spot with the eligibility restrictions for the season. Ah, well, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Well, I guess um, I have, 
I should probably look at the squad. I should probably look at the squad first before I start deciding on what I'm going to do. So let's go to uh, positions here and let's go from here. I guess I'm all over the place. I know, I know, I know. Let's check the finances real quick. So we do have some money in the bank. Projections should be okay. Transfer budget, okay. Wage budget, we still have some space there. Now the debt, how much debt? Ooh, we're actually positive in transfer debt and only 19. Okay, so that's actually good. That's very good. Someone's wanting one of my players. I'll come back for that in a moment. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, what should I be looking at here? I will look at the comparisons to start. Okay, all positions, okay, above the average there. So goalkeepers, let's see how we are. So yeah, we're above average on everything, so that's good, that's not a bad thing. Defending is a weakness. That is very much a weakness then. Yeah. Weakness is defending. Midfielders, meh. Average to below average. Above average. Average, probably, I'd say. Average. Then looking at our attack, I'd say it's above average. Yeah. Physical attributes are fine. Mental are mostly fine. And technical are... They, they could, there could be some improvement. So it's clear the squad needs to be improved, but let's see what the squad looks like now. So it looks like our starting goalkeeper is Ivan Provedo, and he's been with Lazio since 2022. Before that with, well, he's been in Italy his whole time, which is great. No caps for Italy, though. That's too bad. No caps. And he's at 33 years old. His backup is uh, this young man here. 30 years old as well. Not young backups, that's for sure. I don't need both of them, I bet. Well, yeah. 9,000 is not very much. All right, looking at our defensive players. Who do we have here? Looks like this guy who's on loan from Ajax. Pavlovich. Pavlovich. 6'4". Yeah, Ajax, been with them just for a little bit, actually. Then RB Salzburg. So he has played a season with us. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, well, let's just use this screen. It's just a little bit easier to navigate. So we got four goalkeepers. One is on loan. Who is this dude? He's out of contract in 2030. 2028, so he's got a year left. If we could get some money for him, that would be not bad. 2030, and what about Ivan here? Ivan is 2029, okay. So, from what I saw, oh, this back line is just full of old dudes. Uh, Pavlovich is actually gonna be leaving us. He's His loan is done. So do I get to get a non-EU spot then? I don't understand how this works. Romaj Noli, he's been with us for a few years now. Uh, his contract, still got two seasons, but 32 years old at this point, and he's making 90, 92,000. That's quite a bit of money. Got Mitchell Baker, 27-year-old Dutchman. Uh, it looks like he's mostly a left back, but he can play center back as well. Uh, he won't be going anywhere for the time being. Abdul Mimi Moomin, uh, we just signed him last season. So, okay. These are all signings from last season. When does the league year start in this? When can I can I sign non-EU players? I feel like I should be able to. But yeah, he's definitely a squad player. Alex Kral. I guess he's more of a, a ball-winning midfielder than he is a... Uh, oh, I saw this guy, didn't I? No, I didn't. But yeah, more of a ball-winning midfielder than he is anything else from the looks of it. Patrick, Spanish. And honestly, yeah, yeah, they're, it's old. They're old. There's a lot of old dudes here. Who's this? He's out on loan. Good player from the looks of it. But yeah, his loan ends here soon as well. Okay, okay, okay. I got Matteo Crucci. 
Another good prospect, actually a very good prospect, 6'2". I don't know what kind of level he's at currently, but could be a very good player for us. And Terje Volder. So there, there is potential here, but we got a lot of old dudes here that could probably or should hit the road. Looking at right backs, Caligari. Why is he... Uh, his loan's almost up. But he's non-EU. Yeah, he's non-EU, right? Right. Ugh, that's annoying. It's already, it's already going to be tricky, this non-EU rule. Okay, well, if he comes back, looks like this guy is out the door. Oh, no, he's joining. This Italian player is joining Lazio. Looks like on a free, maybe? Okay. And then we got that guy. So we may be okay. I don't know if I'll keep Cal Caligari on the, on the in the squad or not. Mitchell Baker. Okay, he's Dutch. I thought he was English. I was going to say bye-bye, Mr. Englishman, but alas, I did not. Braderich. It says you can't, I can't sign new EU players, right? But how many can I have in my overall roster? I don't know. I am actually a little bit curious now, though. Let's take a little looky-loo here and see. Uh, news, matches, fixture results, rules, rules. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see where we are. Start date, end date. I'm really confused by all this. Very confused. Okay, let's see. Squad. Here, here we go. Registration. Minimum of four players trained at club for three years. Mag minimum of eight trained in same nation for eight three years. Uh, okay, players can be registered July 1st. Okay, so it should be updated. Players can replace blah, 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 blah. Uh, it doesn't say anything about who I can register and not register, but the club has three or more non-EU players in their squad on June 30th of each season, including those soon to be out of contract, but excluding those out on loan, they can only sign and register up to two new non-EU players to play in official matches the following season. And those players will be subject to the following restrictions. One can be signed without the need to replace a player, but only if the player has played at least five national team games. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. They can only sign register up to two new ones to play in official matches. One who is subject to n no restriction. One who can only be signed if an existing leaves for foreign teams or games. EU nationality. Has one or no non-EU players in the squad. Including those soon to be out of contract. But excluding those out on loan. They can only sign register up to three new ones. Oh, this is going to be really confusing. It's going to be very confusing. Okay. It, it is what it is. I, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So looking at our uh, midfield, who do we have? Uh, Matea Zagani. He's more of an attacker than a, like a straight-up midfielder, but he is a good player from the looks of it. And he's been with Lazio since the beginning of the save, essentially. But yeah, decent player, that's for sure. But again, 32 years old. 32 years old. This Alex Kral guy, again, making an appearance here. He's been with the club for a little bit. He's just expensive. He's just 70,000 pounds per week. Ali Al Masrati. Is he in you? Eligibility. Why is he here? How many? It's a lot of languages. Holy crap. I just don't understand. Let's see if I can get him off the wage. Holy. Let's go 10 million. Uh, we got Nikola Moro, a Croatian player. Damn, man, there's. Is Croatia. Croatia's in the EU, right? I think. He's been not being considered part of the club's future plans, considering his options. Please lack his support if the manager doesn't extend. Okay, whatever, but I am going to try 
try to ship him off as well. He is transfer listed too, so there is that. Uh, I will list him for... Oh, wait. I think there's already an offer in for him. Like, I'm fine with that deal. It's just... We'll accept it for now. We'll accept it. Yeah, he needs to get out the door. Uh, Patrickson Delgado. He's Ecuadorian. Wow, that's fancy. But again, I would probably ship him off. I, I don't really understand this whole rule. Like, how many non-EU players... So does that mean at any given time I can only have three not or two non-EUs or just new from the season? I don't know. I don't know. All right, who else do we have here? This guy's a new signing. He's French. Winifred Akue or Akue. I have no info on him, so that's uh, fantastic. Marco Olivia, not a very good player. <laughs> Uh, I want to send him down to the under 20s because <laughs> he's not going to be playing for us. <laughs> Same with this guy. This guy's terrible. Who is he? Is it just for like registration purposes? Is that why he's here? Like, what is this? Get out of here. Okay. Attacking midfielders. What options do we have? Kuna. He's a good player. I don't understand how registration works here. I really don't understand it. I, I know I'm going to get used to it, and I'm sure I'm missing some things, but I'm having a hard time with it. Uh, Luca Romero, because we have lots of non-EU players, lots of South Americans. It's Manor Solomon. I didn't know he was on here. Oh, he's joining Lazio. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Because we do have quite a few players, actually. Uh, strikers, let's go there. Who the heck is this guy? Oh, he's a good player. He's a good player. Look at that. Five star. He'll be coming back on loan at the end of the year. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Who, who's this dude now? Why is there so many dudes that I just do not? Okay. Cool. He's on loan at Sch Schalke. <sighs> okay. Well, there, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot going on here. It's actually really confusing. But we'll we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. We're, we're gonna have to like just like reconfigure the roster a little bit. There's a lot of old dudes, a lot of players that probably shouldn't be around, but are. So yeah. We'll figure it out here. Ugh, I think it's the right thing to do, insist. Just leave. Why does everyone want to be in my business? Okay, everyone is mad at me. Well, they're not really mad at me, but they're mad at something. Wants initially agreed playing time. Who is this? Who are you on loan from Nice? Your loan is done in like two days. See you. Feels forced out of the club. Well, you are. Wants to leave for continental football. Ooh, I don't want to lose you though. Hmm. That's 28. Has he been that good? It doesn't really look like he's been that good. Alex Crawl wants to move to a bigger club. Okay. See you. I will see if anyone's interested. Nothing I can do if no one's into it. Wants to move for a new challenge. Okay, you aren't very good. You're a backup goalkeeper who's not very good. So, see ya. Lester's in the offer for this dude here. We brought him in for 920. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. But he's 31 years old. And that. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. Have fun in Leicester City. Bye. Bye. Have fun in Leicester. That is crazy. Who the heck is this? Patrickson Delgado. Okay. Yeah, you're going to, buddy. Um, I don't know. You can choose. I don't care. Pick one of those two. Um, ugh, I don't want to have to attend this meeting. It's going to end the meeting. <laughs> okay, what, what transfers are going on here? Oh, it's for Nicola Moore. Transfer made. Transfer made. How much did I put him up for? 10. Okay. Let's see. This guy's, they're just saying 10. And we go a little higher. 11. What are you doing? Why'd I do that? Riley, why'd you do that? Okay, these guys I can get up to 10, right? Fine. 8.25. Take it. Uh, who else? Who else do we have here? 
Um, ten. Eight point seven five. Take it. All these Italian clubs want them. And then who else? Last one, Awada. No. All right. Well, this is going to be an interesting time to say the least. There's a lot going on here. And it's going to take a few weeks probably to get situated, try to figure it all out. But I think the transfer window is op open July 1st here. So at that point, hopefully things may be reset or we can figure out what we're doing. The whole non-EU thing is very confusing. Because at this point, non-EU, like Solomon is a non-EU player. Who the heck is Louis Alberto? I saw him mention that we should retain him, but I don't know who he is. But yeah, anyways, I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to just play ahead a little bit, see if anything exciting happens. The season is not going to start for a little while probably, but yeah, I think this could be a, a fun change to say the least. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Many months later. So it's a, obviously it's a new day in the game, real life as well, different clothes, but yes. The season, well, the preseason has ended and we are about to start the season. But let's first take a look at the movement that we have made. Because as you can see, transfers out, 86 million pounds. Transfers in, 94. So that's actually not bad for us. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are ones that I was a part of? Right here, Nikola Moro. Uh, he went to, uh, he was 29-year-old Croatian. He went to Sassolo, uh, Alial Musorati. He went, he's a 31 year old Libyan player. He went to Leicester City. So that's great. Uh, young guys, young guys. Anders Harvey Trice, 22 year old Norwegian striker. Eh, like he was fine, but I didn't need him. Same with Kristen Shependi. Uh, Alex Crawl was one that went, and he was on like 90,000 pounds per week. So that was actually a good one. And he's not a bad player, but he's 29 years old. And again, the wage budget was just a little too much. Uh, Martin Satriano, 26-year-old uh, Uruguay, uh, Uruguayan striker. Again, I, did, I didn't need him, so and he wanted to leave. So I, I, I can't stop that. I can't stop that. Uh, Mitchell Baker. 27 year old Dutch left back. Not a player I wanted to leave. I did like that his pace was pretty good, a good attacking fullback. But when Barcelona comes calling and they're offering this much to him, he's not going to want to stay. And he did not want to stay. And you got to think, we're not in Europe either. So, like, we don't even have that as a draw. Uh, Brodich was another guy. Uh, Donato. And I think that's pretty much it. So, the players that we brought in was quite a few. I didn't have anything to do with the Man or Solomon one, uh, but I did bring in Daniel Daniel Sarini. He is a 20-year-old Italian player, striker, 6'5", four and a half star potential ability. So that is fantastic for us. Good signing. Oh, my favorite signing though is Arda Guler, 22-year-old Turkish international, uh, 21 caps for his country already, and he's a solid four-star current ability player and. Yeah, he's just solid. And as anyone who's seen my Turkish um, playthrough with Vinovaci, you know I'm an Arda Guler fan. Shout out to my Turkish viewers. I do love me some Turkish football now. But I signed him for 26 million pounds from Celtic. Uh, another player I brought in was this 21-year-old German. Because the issue was our squad's not very big. We, With me selling a lot of those older guys, there was a lot of holes. And the holes, like the players that I had left were, again, older. So it's like I had to make it work somehow. So anyways, I brought in Dardai, 21-year-old uh, German, five-star potential ability, solid player in my opinion. Another player brought in four-star potential ability, uh, Belgian, and he can play kind of anywhere in the midfield area, Muzambo. So eh, not too bad. And who else? And oh, yeah, new goalkeeper. Stefano Torati, four star potential ability, three and a half star current ability, and Italian. Try to get him some uh, international Italian caps would be nice. Obviously, he's competing with uh, some some good players there. So, 
We'll see what happens there. But uh, Brian Berg and Mark Jays or some other players, as well as this Peruvian player, five-star potential ability. Uh, he's back on loan at his uh, club that he was at before, but he's got four caps for his country already. Five-star potential ability. Could develop into quite a good fullback. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But that is that. We will come back for the first match and... Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And welcome to Lazio. Obviously, like the club. Welcome to the club, Lazio. I'm excited. I'm excited to get going here in Serie A. It's a nice change, I think, from England. I think it'll be good for me to get my feet on the ground in the management circus platform here in Italy. And we'll go from there. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.